Okay, uh, this is going to be a quick overview of the GSA PR emulator, which is a new tool by GSA that allows you to filter URLs uh, by different metrics. Um, currently, we have Yandex, Alexa, Simrush, Trustflow, and Citation Flow. And this tool can work either with other tools like Search Engine Ranker. Um, where it will automatically filter the URLs in real time, or you can load your own URLs and use this as a standalone tool. So the tool is very easy to use. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to use this with Search Engine Ranker, um, since that's probably what most people will be using it with. Um, but it can be used with other tools, so if there's other tools out there that query for PR, or if you want to integrate it, you can just query for PR and this um, the emulator will automatically intercept those queries when it's running alongside your other tools and it'll filter for you. So if you're using this with Search Engine Ranker, I'll go ahead and quickly show you. Um, the first thing you want to do to make sure it works right is in your advanced settings, you're going to want to uncheck Use Yandex. TIC is PR, and you want to make sure you have PR checking disabled using proxies for PR checking disabled here. And then basically all you would do is you'd go into your campaign and you would go to your normal PR setting, skip sites with a PR below X, or whatever you set here. Um, so to give an example, if we were to set this to Trustflow 10 or Trustflow slash 10 here and we set this to skip sites with a PR below 1 it's going to automatically skip sites that are below Trustflow 10. If you were to set this to skip sites below PR 2 it's going to skip sites below Trustflow 20. If it was PR 3, Trustflow 30 um, and so on and so on and, and that works for Trustflow and Citation Flow but for more complex, um, for other metrics that don't use a scale of 0 to 100, they have a little more complex ranges, such as, uh, I'll go ahead and show you Alexa. Um, you can define the ranges here by clicking Edit, and you'll actually be able to see what the PR ranges are. So if you, so for example, in if you set this to skip sites below PR3, it's going to skip sites that are equal to or lower to 500,000 Alexa rank. So let's say you were trying to only build links to sites um, that are getting traffic according to Alexa. Um, you could do that here um, by setting your PR filter and then setting this to Alexa rank. So I'll go ahead and show how that works. Um, you want to load in some proxies. It has the normal proxy scraper that you're used to from other GSA tools. Um, you can use public proxies or you can just throw in some shared or private proxies. I'm going to go ahead and load some proxies. Okay, so my proxies are now loaded. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate how this works. So let me check one more time. Got the option set. Okay, we're going to skip sites below PR1. And we have it set to Alexa traffic rank. So if we click start, we will start seeing the emulated PR value. This isn't real PR since Google no, no longer displays PR, but this is the emulated value that we give you um, according to the ranges set here as we showed before. So we're skipping sites below PR1. So that means anything that doesn't have an Alexa traffic rank of 5 million or higher is going to be automatically skipped. And so you can get the information here. And that's how it works with Search Engine Ranker. And like I said, if you use other tools that query PR this should work with them and the same thing for, goes for Pi or platform identifier if you use GSA platform identifier 
um, it will work the same way. You just, in your project, you would go down here and you would choose skip sites. It's basically the same option. So to show that, and you can see Pi is now filtering and we are now filtering by Alexa traffic rank. We could be doing this with trust flow, citation flow, some rush rank. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how powerful the filtering is and it doesn't require any third party APIs. So as long as you load in some, some proxies and uh, you can see how easy and how fast this works. So other than using this with third party tools, you can actually use this as a standalone uh, filtering tool. Um, I'll quickly just show you the screen for that. You just click load URLs. Um, here you would load your list of URLs you want to filter, where you want to save them, and then you, can, you have your format here, CSV, Excel, different text formats, and then you have your same PR filter that you would see uh, in Search Engine Ranker or a platform identifier and then if you want to save the uh, metrics so like if you had it set to citation flow it would actually save the citation flow um, metrics along with the PR emulated value in the text file or Excel file with it so um, yeah that's basically it um, it's a new filtering tool and if you have any suggestions be sure and check out the support form, which can be found by clicking the help menu, open form. And if you need some more details about the tool, be sure and check out the online manual. Um, that's it, and we hope to see you on the forum.